we began to work on this project, we looked, among other things, at the properties, the distribution of properties in an area which is largely unbuilt. And the properties, as you can see, are not part of a grid, they're not part of a radio system, they're not part of any conventional kind of, of, of system of streets and boulevards and avenues and parkways. So the first conceptual gesture is this large gesture, uh, welcoming gesture, opening gesture, uh, to the north and to the east, and we are literally opening up in a gesture of welcoming and to invite the community to participate in, in this new world.
So the biggest gesture, which we've called Glass Boulevard, and the boulevard itself is an extension of a planning idea, which was given to us in a technical way. So the boulevard is the core of the project, the essence of the project, and, and we're excited to offer a, a suggestion and a solution and a proposal that conforms to the stipulations in the program, the request for the boulevard, and we think we've made that. So there are various building shapes and forms and materials and spaces so that over the length of 800 meters or so of the Glass Boulevard, one encounters a variety of volumes, of heights, of venues, of spaces, spaces open, open to the sky from gardens and sports participation, spaces enclosed, for conferences and exhibits and meetings, uh, spaces with, with various volumetric heights, but every space has a different shape, configuration, and view out the, the, the associations, the connections between inside and out are critical, whether it's interior spaces that look in on gardens, whether it's, it's the system of subdivisions, of, of pathways and walks uh, that subdivide buildings and allow one to look in and look out. And each space in the project was, was presented and is available in that way.